we want to echo the psalmist when he said in Psalm 126, verse 3, The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. We have seen the Lord work in our church and the lives of the people that we have been called to serve. Our theme for 2016 was making a difference. We want to highlight how the Lord has made a difference in the lives of His people. We began our year with our Next Steps Sunday School lessons and highlighted the need in our lives to take the next steps forward in our faith. Many took significant steps forward in their spiritual walks with the Lord in this time, in salvation, baptism, and stewardship. And we were able to see the Lord make a difference in our spiritual lives because of this series. We have seen the Lord make a difference in many ways in our church, and one of the first ways was through dynamic preaching from God's Word. We were able to do this in part through many of the conferences which we were able to host. We started in February with our Men for Christ conference. It was a great time of preaching and godly fellowship for our men, as well as men from area churches. Our main speaker was Dr. John Hamblin, along with many helpful sessions from area preachers. Our Gulf Coast marriage retreat was held February 19th and 20th. It was a dynamic time of practical Bible teaching and a refreshing time of reconnection with our spouses. Our guest speakers were evangelist Dave Young and his wife Beth Lee. The Lord did wonderful things in our hearts as husbands and wives sought the Lord together. We ended the summer with the Sword of the Lord Conference in August. Dr. Shelton Smith, editor of the Sword of the Lord, and Dr. John Hamblin challenged us and encouraged us in every service through the preaching of God's Word. We had a powerful missions conference with Dr. Lou Baldwin. As he shared his heart for missions, we were challenged to increase our faith, our commitment, and our giving to local and world missions. The Lord moved in our hearts and we were able to take on seven more missionaries through increased giving. Through missions, we can truly make a difference in the eternal destiny of those in the regions beyond. We were able to reach out in our community to make a difference with several special days in our church. As we gathered to celebrate the resurrection of Christ on Easter Sunday, we enjoyed the Lighthouse Baptist Church Choir and Orchestra Cantata as we worshiped the Lord in song. Our hearts rejoiced as we were reminded of the power of the cross and the hope of the resurrection. On April 24th, we were able to make a difference in the lives of many of our friends and families, inviting those in our community to be a part of our service on Friend Day. Many of our people brought their friends and we were able to see several people join our fellowship through this special day. On September 18th, we enjoyed a day of old-fashioned fun. It was the time of our annual chili and cornbread cook-off. As we dressed in old-fashioned clothing and enjoyed tractor rides and horseshoes, we thanked the Lord for the old-time gospel and making a difference in our lives. This past October was a special time as we celebrated the 16th anniversary of our church. We had an awesome turnout with many visiting for the first time. We praise the Lord for the many who were added to the ministry because of this exciting day. On Sunday, November 13th, we were able to honor many of our veterans with a special service. We were especially touched by the members of our Korean congregation who honored those Korean War veterans who attended. It was a privilege to fellowship after the services with the veterans during the luncheon that followed. On December 8th, we had two showings of our 2016 LBA Christmas play, Christmas in Black and White. The play was filled with humorous and convicting themes about Christmas and its true meaning, and we enjoyed every moment as the children of Lighthouse Baptist Academy performed for us. On December 11th, our hearts were again stirred as we heard our choir and orchestra deliver the true meaning of Christmas in the powerful Christmas cantata, I Believe. As we listened to the music and watched the videos, it was a great time of reflection and worship. We were privileged to be able to celebrate the birth of our Savior on Sunday, December 25th. Sunday night, we listened to a charge from our pastor and enjoyed a candlelight service where we sang to the Lord together as a church family. Our children and teens had many fun opportunities this year. The teens went to the Deep South Youth Conference on June 8th through the 10th. We took a large group of teens to Gulfport for dynamic preaching and exciting times of fun and games. The theme was facing extinction, reminding them that the decisions that they make to follow the Lord and the continued growth of their spiritual lives will ensure that as a true follower of Christ, their lives and influence will never be extinct. Also in June, we saw hundreds of children gathered together to learn about God's Word at Vacation Bible School. 
Every night we had great Bible preaching and age-appropriate games and teaching. It was an incredible thing to see many of the children trust Christ as their Savior and commit their hearts to the Lord. Only time and eternity will tell the stories of the difference this one week will make in the lives of these children. Teen Camp finished out the month of June. It was an exciting week filled with games, food, and fun. Brother Kurt Copeland's powerful preaching challenged our young people to let God's Word make a difference in their lives. As they made important decisions and commitments to the Lord, many chose to give up those things that hinder their lives and testimonies. As 2016 came to a close, we had two very unique opportunities to impact our community. At Thanksgiving, the Lord allowed us to make a difference in the lives of others in one of the most elemental ways. We were privileged to share what the Lord has blessed us with as we collected food for those in need. As usual, the people of Lighthouse Baptist Church responded generously and were a blessing to many. During Christmas, our children brought gifts and wrapped them for the sick children at USA Children's and Women's Hospital. This was a great time of teaching our children the unselfishness of giving gifts to those in need. As they grow and mature, times like this will make a difference in their lives, helping them appreciate what Christ did for us, as well as giving them a desire to help others. 2016 has truly been a blessed year. As we have highlighted just a few of our moments of ministry, we need to realize that the Lord has put us here, in Theodore, Alabama, as a lighthouse, shining forth the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lighthouse Baptist Church has truly made a difference in our community as Christ has made a difference in the lives of our people. We look forward to seeing how the Lord works in us and through us in 2017 as we elevate the work of the Lord.